Well, uh, we're here in between race two and race three at Brands, round six of the BRDC British Formula 3 Championship. We've still got about two and a half hours until we grid up for the race, um, and really not a lot to do. So uh, we're going to try find some drivers, get the rundown of what happened, and um, hopefully they'll be a bit more honest to another driver than they will be to the journalists. So let's see what we can find. Well, let, well, we can start. We can start off here with my teammate, Mr. Jane. Jason, good weekend so far. You've been on the pace. What's been happening though? Uh, well, not a great weekend up until this point. Hey, pace-wise, though, pace-wise. Bearing in mind you're not on the GP circuit before. You've been on the pace. Unfortunately, though, a bit of bad luck in race two. Talk us through your side of the story. Yeah, so basically, someone tried to be a hero in turn two and uh, hit another driver, and then I just had nowhere to go. Um, just one of those things, and then me and you had a bit of off-track in skirting. And I, I believe we're known as Rally Cross. Richard, Wayne's dad, Britain, like absolutely brilliant ex rally cross racing driver. We're just trying to emulate him, that's all that's trying to happen. However though, race three, where are you starting? What's the plan? What are we going to do? How are we going to send it? Well, the plan is to send it. We are starting P13 because the track was quicker today. So yeah, we're just going to send it and see what we can do and uh, hopefully gain a lot of positions. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Well. Uh, Let's go see who else we can find, maybe find a couple of team bosses. Um, is Callan hired now? Is that a thing? Is Callan now? This is, this is kind of, this is the interview, I believe it's known as. Oh. See what I did there? So, please don't put that in, we'll leave that out. On that note, we'll end the interview. Jordan, are you coming with? Are we going to go see what we can find? Let's go and have a look around. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we've, we've also got Ben here. Ben, day at the races. Um, is it your first time here? Tell us a bit about the experience for the uh, the fans back home. So yeah, um, first time at Brands. Uh, great experience coming in. Um, yeah, just enjoying my day, going around, just seeing new things. Yeah, it's just just. Really Would you like to have a go? Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be a dream. That'd be a dream. Yeah. Are you going to beat me into the car in um, in race three? You're going to have a go? Yeah. Take paddock flat. Yeah. Well, people were saying that we look uh, quite alike, so um, maybe I can slip on your helmet, you know, and I mean, uh, I mean, hop in the car. To be honest, we've had a comment. Apparently we look alike. We'll let the people at home judge this. However, I have been told that he hasn't and I don't. Um, whatever it is. So uh, we'll give you a go in race three. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, you said you were a rallycross driver. Jordan and I did a bit of rallycross this, uh, this morning. You've seen our onboard or have you not? Could you take a look at it for us and uh, give us some tips for the next time we do it, please? Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Happy days, happy days. <laughs> we're finding people. We're going for a walk around. Let's see what happens. We, uh, we've got people. Good afternoon, sir. Um, into double R here. No, 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 no. Oh, let's, let's bring in Douglas as number one. Douglas. Okay, he's, he's not he's not up for a chat. Um, here at Double R, um, not really sure how their day's been going. I um, think it's been a bit of a struggle for them, a couple of off-track excursions. Just trying to see if we can find any drivers. Um, I'll have a, have a word with Sam. Sam, why, mate, we just want to get your side of the story. Okay, fair one. No one's really, uh, no one's... Uh, we'll interview you. How how you do, how you doing, mate? Great. We're gonna interview yeah, we're going to interview you. Great weekend so far. Um, tell us tell us a bit about it. What's the secret? Where are you going wrong? You don't have me. That's where you're going wrong. How, how? What does it take to get you? What do I have to do? Tell me, please. You can't. Oh. <laughs> Rejection on camera. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the plan for race three then? Can you tell me what you're going to do so I can try and counteract it? Where are you starting from? Four. P4. Oh, you're right behind us. I know. <laughs> what? Well, I reckon we need to do a little bit of slingshot, a bit of Ricky Bobby. If you could just tell an arm that and uh, we can send it from there. What do you reckon? Oh, we're going for the outside, that's for sure. Just come behind us, you'll be third. Or maybe you go for the inside, I'll go for the outside. 50-50 and whoever comes out best, there you go, that's teamwork. It makes the dream work. What do you think? Well, it's all up to him, man. Yeah? <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we'll be joining you on the podium. I will see you there later, hopefully. For that. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Um, <laughs> There's, I expected a little bit like more drivers to be knocking about, I'm not going to lie. Um, see what we've got here. Are there any Carlin drivers in? Do we know of any drivers knocking about here? No. I just, I just want one driver. I just want one driver, that's all I want. Well, interview you, how's your weekend going so far? Uh, yeah, it's been all right, yeah, it's been good. If you, if you had to sum it up in one word, how would you put it? It's long. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't that just every weekend in my sport? Yeah, pretty much. What, where are you starting for this next one? Uh, P2, I think. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is that one? What? P4. P4. Oh. I was just having a little discussion. I think we're going to do a bit of slingshot movement. How do you feel about a bit of rubbing into turn one? As long as it's not too bad. 
Robin's racing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It's no fun without it. This guy's on board with it. We're going to make it happen. Can't wait. Right. Let's see if we can find some drivers. Um, let's, let's, before they lower the tail lift, let's see what we've got going on in here. As you can see, serious discussions going on. All part of the process of, um, of racing. Um, I expected this to go a little bit better, I'm not going to lie. However, I will still talk and try to um, just fill the time, really. Um, I, I feel like we need to just, just butt in here. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. How are we doing? Absolutely awesome, and how are we today? I, you know, I'm just trying to fill the time. We've got a lot of time until, um, until the next race. Um, how's the weekend going for you so far? Well, for me, it went quite really well. I'm pretty, pretty much happy about what my son did. I, I think you guys were quite close together. Yeah, there was a bit. That, there was a bit of racing action going into Dingle Dell, I think. Um, yeah, but um, where? What's the kind of progression plan? Obviously, you've got. This is the Nick's first year in the championship. Right, yeah. Is Nick staying on? Can you give us a bit of inside information of for next year? He's going to continue next year. We're all looking forward to see you again on the grid. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know if I'll be. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be. I'll be in a paddock as a supporter, mate, and I can't wait for it. I must say, really, you're doing a great job here. Is uh, skip driving, mate? You know what? Making interviews. I would say. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult or a compliment. However, we will take it and we'll move forward. Race three, what's your prediction? Who's going to win it? Oh, that's pretty tough to say because those guys in front are uh, behaving miserable. I mean, you saw from the last race, second corner, they thought already they saw somebody with a checkered flag. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, so uh, I have no idea. The Wilders will win, I guess. Do you think you'll be a blue car from Douglas Mosby? Possible, I mean, possible. possible. I, I, like, I like the fact you say it's possible. possible. It's, especially when you're in it. I mean, a lovely start from you. I mean, you're front line, right? I like this guy a lot. On that note, we're going to end it before but you... I, but, I think, but I think you were behind Nick, right? I, I'm starting fourth in this one. Fourth in this one? Yeah. Oh, really? Fastest lap, isn't it? Oh, great, yeah. man. So, we're back in the race despite some rally cross action, as you would have seen in the first segment of this. We'll be back in it. Great to talk to you. Hopefully, he has a great race. And, um, yeah, who knows what can happen. Good luck with your new job. Bro. Thank you very much. I, I think I'm settling in well. We'll see you later. Baz, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. Bit of insight for you. Obviously, we're looking for drivers. We're finding others as well. This is Baz, Ben Hingley's mechanic. Yeah. How's the weekend going, mate? Sum it up for us. Uh, not gone the best so far, mate, but it's getting there. A couple of big crashes and issues with the car, but it's going all right. Mate, if you send it sometimes, you're going to end it. That's just the way it works. Um, good luck for the next one, mate. Have a good one. Um, do, we, do we have any drivers, please? Can, can we have some form of racing driver? I've walked down the entire paddock and we're struggling to find any. Come, come on, mate. We'll get, we'll get a rundown from you as well. I feel like to a driver, teams are more honest. How's the weekend going for you? Um, it's been a struggle, but... Um, Everyone keeps saying the same thing, eh? The long struggle. Where's the positivity? Where it brands, the sun's out. Like, come on. It's good. And the last race was good. We had a fifth and a sixth, so it's a definite improvement. And um, looking forward to the next race. We, I, think, I think we spotted a racing driver. Omar, get in here. Get in here, mate. There you go. Get in here. We finally found one. First one. We walked down the entire paddock. We got one. Hello, who are you? Uh, my name's Callan. Nice to meet you. I'm, a, I'm an intern for Motorsport Radio. Um, Omar, yeah. how's the race weekend going for you? Not bad. Yeah, uh, just, just take the sunglasses. Yeah. Bad, yeah. Mate, they look, they're engineers. They look good on you. Um, how's it going for you so far? Uh, not bad. I had a first race, but uh, I'm not going <laughs> Sorry, sorry about the language um, for any... Any younger listeners there? We'll try that again. Omar, how's the race weekend going for you? It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a good, it's great, big, great race now. Nah, nah. We had a bit of a bad first race, a bit messy with the uh, car, but the second race, a lot of chaos happened at the start. I uh, was able to avoid trouble, and uh, yeah, I was able to uh, get up into the top five. Hopefully, I can uh, push on from now. I've had a couple of bad race weekends before, but I think I'm sorting myself out now. That's good, mate. Peaking at the end of the year is always important. You always want to peak at the end. Um, heard a rumour as well during free practice. One of the blue cars, Douglas Motorsport, almost took you out. Got a bit irate. Couple of gesticulations coming out the cockpit. Anything to say on that? Any? What's What's your side of the story? Yeah, heard that too. Uh, yeah, it's one of these uh, crazy blue. Guys. He's wrong. Yeah, <laughs> just came round me, straight into the pits. After like, what's he doing? Do you want another cheeky overtake for the pit lane? Fair play to him. Irrelevant. Well, pulled it off well, yeah. Got the got the place though, mate. That's all that counts, unfortunately, in racing. Yeah. Um, we'll go to him later to get his. <laughs> oh. Throwing shade already, I'll take those back, mate. You don't need them anymore with the amount of shade you're throwing. Um, 
what are we saying? Do you want to come help us find some more drivers? Let's do it. We can, we can do a little bit. Uh, sh uh, I don't know where we're going, but the way we, 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 I think, uh, we, I think we should probably get into. Yeah, the video, yeah. We might, we might stick our heads here into the hospitality. If we're sticking our noses where we're not welcome, <laughs> we just thought we'd come in and say hello. How's the lunch, folks? How's it going? It's going <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We are. Uh, we looking forward to race three. What's what's the story? I, I feel like we've not had a great weekend so far for you, unfortunately. It's been a bit but chaos, I've seen. yeah, but a chance to turn it around now and end the weekend on a high. I hope so. Yeah. Where's Ben starting for this one? Um, sixth, I believe. Seventh, is he? Seventh. Oh, he's, he's right there. He's in the fight. Yeah, try 15th. Yeah, try. It could be worse. It could be Omar. It could be P15. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll uh, try to cause a bit of chaos up front, and hopefully, we'll see him uh, somewhere near there at the end of the race. Enjoy your lunch. Um, yeah, we're, we're running out of stuff to do here. I'm not going to lie. Um, who else can we find? Should we go and find? Uh, it's not. It's not easy to find people. I mean, where are they? But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go back in for you. Second season in British Formula Three. Well, just, just. First. I mean, I did two races. Uh, you, 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 if you look at Wikipedia, mate, that's all that counts. Um, got a bit of experience in the championship now. Give us a bit of insight. Where's, where's your favourite place? Favourite track? It's got to be Rockingham because I did the best there. <laughs> it's got. I, I don't know how I feel about Rockingham. Should we, should we go inside the um, the F, the BRDC Technical Center? This is this is it. This is where all the magic happens. Um, is is Gemma around the side? We'll stick our heads in. We'll see if she's there. I, th I feel like we'll just slowly come around here. Is she in? Where have we have we seen Gemma anywhere? Do we know where she is? I'm trying to interview her. Have you seen Gemma anywhere? Ah, oh, that's a shame. We'll, we'll come back and find her a bit later. Should we uh, just just stick in here? How you doing, mate? Are you enjoying enjoying your day at the races? Oh, it's been amazing, yeah. Yeah, is it your first time here, or you've been here before? Uh, a couple times, yeah. Okay, cool. Where that's an accent I detect. Where are you from? I'm from America. Oh, of course, you're. Which part of America? Uh, Michigan, but I, I live in London, so yeah. Okay, cool. How about you? Enjoying here? Very much so. Yeah. What's what's been your favourite part of the day? Bearing in mind, I'm a British Formula Three racing driver. Wishing that I was taking part myself. Would you like to do race three in the number 27 Douglas car? Sure, I'll take it on for you. If you just walk down the paddock, get in there, tell them Callan's told you to do a seat fit, jump in, and uh, I'll be commentating from the side. Good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Gemma, can we get an interview with you, please? Ge no, Gemma, 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 come back, Gemma. You, you, we spot. You've been spotted. Oh, we got with that's that's worth catching on camera. Gemma, Gemma, come back. <laughs> I will chase after you. <laughs> This is investigative reporting at its best. Uh, okay, well, everyone's just dispersed. We'll just, we'll just throw a microphone here and the one man that's actually here. How are we doing today? Very well, thank you. Are we enjoying the sunny day at Brands Hatch? It's very pleasant, yes. What do you think of the number 27 drive for Douglas Motorsport? I heard he's a bit of a liability. I'd, I'd back that one up, yeah. Well, there you go. From a reputable source, a reputable source, wherever the word is, I'm not very good with those. Um, and we can't find Gemma now, which is disappointing. Um, I had a good old dig dong with Chase. He put me on the grass, so uh, we'll get his side of the story now. Chase, Chase, can we grab a word with you for two secs? Chase, Chase, are you busy? Are you busy? Are you busy? How you doing, mate? Not, not too busy for you. Okay. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Yeah. Um, running low on time. Just keep an eye out if he starts busting signals. It's a bit like Ted's notebook. Yeah. Chase, um, talk me through the weekend so far. We were. Uh, Swapping fastest laps on Thursday, Friday. We were battling it out, and then we were almost swapping paint when you put me on the grass in race two. What's your side of the story? Oh, well, um, you know, there's... <laughs> uh, I was just doing some blocking. Just uh, just doing some blocking, you know. Uh, you got to fight hard in these races to, uh, to pass somebody. I mean, mate, when we were having a beer last night, you said to me that you would let me pass if I came through, um, and you didn't hold your word. Are you not a man of your word? Ah, uh, well. Uh, was it all part of the mind game? It was mind games. Yeah. You are one step ahead of me, mate. I believed you for a second there. Um, you know what, mate? Robin's racing. Good battle. I enjoyed it a little bit. Um, would have been nice to end one place ahead of you. However, we were fighting for like 9th and 10th, so it doesn't really make a difference. Race 3, talk to me about it. What's the plan moving forward? Uh, just get, get past you. That's, that's really it. Um. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you know what, mate? That is a good start. However... Let me stop you there. There's probably a few other drivers on that grid you need to work past. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to ask you again, give you a chance. We can edit that out, reevaluate this. What's your plan for race three? Uh, just get a good start and pass as many people as I can on the first lap. 
Are you going to tell walk around the paddock telling them you're going to let them pass as well and then put them on the grass too? Uh, it's a good possibility. I already, I've already laid the, the groundwork for that, so yeah. It is a good tactic, mate. It works. Helped me to do a little bit of tyre saving, which I'm on board with, because obviously when you're on the grass, you're not using them. So thanks very much for that. I will be very thankful later on the race. Yeah. Oh, we've, we're being ushered. We're being ushered. This is, this is great. We're going behind enemy lines here. Um, would someone just like to let me know what sort of springs you're running, something along those lines? No. Fair enough. Let's go inside. Good afternoon. Are we interrupting something? Have you got two minutes to talk to us, Nick? Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm Callan. Nice to meet you, mate. Hi. I don't think I've ever met you before in my life, um, except for on track. We had a nice little battle there in race two. Uh, talk to me about your weekend so far. Um, difficult start. It's a challenging track, of course, for me as a newcomer. Um, never been here on the indie circuit, never been on the GP circuit, so especially, especially difficult for me then. Uh, but. I guess race two has, has, has not been too bad and uh, waiting to get more experience for race three now. What's your plan moving forward? Are you just going to send it in turn one? Flat round paddock? Going to send it. This guy knows the score. Happy days, mate. I wish you all the best for the race and uh, hopefully we'll have a couple more close encounters as the year goes on. Well, this is, this is kind of nice. I'm just taking it in, breathing in the atmosphere in the hill speed truck. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's time to go. We're going to try to find some more drivers. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we found, we found Gemma. We found her. We're gonna just slide in here. <sighs> Gemma, quick word for Sky Sports. Um, <laughs> been a great start to the year for the uh, championship. Lots of close racing action. Um, how would you sum up the season so far? Fantastic. Um, no more comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, yeah. Well, uh, that was one of the more uh, brief interviews I've ever done in my life, in my uh, two-minute reporting career. So, uh, yeah, we'll take one more wander down back, uh, you know, if I can get the words out, back past this paddock, see if we can find some people. Um, if we can't, we, uh, oh, I, th I think we found some drivers. Are we going to be welcomed in? That's the question. Cameron, could we get a quick word for Sky Sports, please? We got the D-man coming here. Obvious his nickname for uh, obvious reasons. Cam, my name is Callan. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm an intern for Motorsport Radio. Um, some of the weekend so far, please. Uh, a bit, a bit difficult to begin with, but um, we've qualified P3 for the last race, so we're in good shape. I know, mate. You're starting one place ahead of me. Um, what's your, what's your tactic for turn one, turn two? Just if I was a reporter, what would you be saying? Not that I'm going to actually take this up and listen to it and try to uh, counter it. Roll the dice. That's my plan. Oh, wow. Very ominous. I enjoy the uh, omin anonymity, whatever the right word is for that. Um, I'm South African. That's not my first language. Um, so far, the year's gone pretty well for you. You obviously started off very well at Alton. A um, couple of challenging races, obviously. Uh, how do you plan to uh, pick it back up again? Uh, obviously, uh, do better in qualifying, do better in the, the last practices, and uh, we'll be able to be at the front as long as we're at the front at the beginning of the weekend. It's really just a case of reaching deeper into that bag of talent and pulling some more out, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. yeah I feel you on that one, mate. I struggle with that one too. Um, have we got any other drivers knocking about? Uh, do we know where Anam and... Might be in the engineering room. Do you want to go have a... Have a is, he, is he in a debrief? He is. He's, he's actually working, unlike yeah. me. That makes me feel really bad. However, that is probably why he is qualified p2 and i've qualified p4 but we will change that because i've already done my data cameron it's been a pleasure i will see you out on track see you then. hopefully not swapping paint hopefully but we will make it a good hard race for the fans right. see you in a bit mate um right drivers appearing up like left right and center let's have a little look see what we've got huh we got a couple in there Sorry, sir. Team members invite personally. Uh, I'm, invi I'm, I'm media. I have accreditation. Thank you very much. Uh! Well, here we are, boys. Um, we finally found some racing drivers. Oh, yeah. Hello. Man, well. My, my, my mate. How are we doing? Well, Sam. Sam, you're next, mate. I don't know where you're. I don't know where you're going. Um, good old race. Um, race two there. We had a little bit of a battle. Talk me through it. Yeah. So you spin in the first hour. Could 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 we uh could we calm down on the language please? We have younger viewers. Once again, sorry about us, we're a bit of a liability, us racing drivers. Once again, give you a chance so we can edit that out. Manuel, talk us through race two. Obviously, uh let's bring back the fact the fact I spun by myself. Um let's get that out of the way earlier. Um, uh, talk me through paddock, turn one. Bit tricky when you miss the apex and run wide, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, it was alright. I was trying, trying to hit it, but... Mate, if you send it, sometimes you're going to end it. That's a fair one. Speaking of ending it, Nikolai! <laughs> we'll move over here, Nikolai. Very... <laughs> We very unlucky in race two. Obviously, a uh, strong showing in terms of pace this weekend. You must be uh, looking forward to race three to give yourself a good shot at um, showing your true potential. Yeah, it ended early in race <laughs> race two, uh, but yeah, we got good pace starting P6, so should be able to hopefully go go a bit further up. Yeah, I, I didn't enjoy your uh, your little action with my teammate either because it meant we had to take a bit of rally cross action there. Um, and then obviously when we were kind of fighting a little bit, you then went into the pits. So I was a little bit disappointed because I was looking forward to some close racing action because that's what we're here for, even if it's over 11th place. Um, oh wow, you put it, you put a driver in, and all of a sudden etiquette just goes out the door. I just I can't apologise enough for us. We're just a bit broken, Baz. Just uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the microphone didn't pick that one up. Um, <laughs> plans for the rest of the season. What what what, what are you going to do? How are you going to send it? How are you going to keep this good momentum going? Could I have some of your talent? No. Please. I, I, I need Paul Favor. <laughs> <laughs> I need it myself. Uh, I've, I've just got just about enough. <laughs> just reach further into that bag, mate. That's all you got to do. That bag of talent is full. You just got to reach deep down in there. Manuel, same question posed to you. Give me some strategy. Give me some... Uh, oh, I need to get a bit of talent from you, don't I? I, mate, I don't think there's much talent there. You'd be struggling. That bag, I've reached deep down into that bag, and we're already struggling. So, uh, you might <laughs> a pretty shallow bag, apparently. Thank you very much to uh, to that guy. <laughs> What's your name again? <laughs> it doesn't matter, fellow South African. Thank you for throwing shade at me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we'll uh, we'll look forward to a good showing from you two in uh, race three. Hopefully, uh, as I said to every single driver I've interviewed so far, you'll be somewhere near the front because I'm not going to end it off. I know I'm a bit of a dick, but we're going to end off the interview being... I uh, dismay. It's just long gone that point now. So uh, we'll end off the interview there. Hopefully you guys have a good race to finish off the weekend. And um, yeah, keep reaching into that bag before Snet and uh, who knows what can happen. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your two minutes for Sky. Right. Attack down this way. Would you like... Do you know what? Do you know how to use a radio? A radio? Uh, microphone. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? I was going to insult you, but you've just you know done what? it yourself. No, it says radio on there, so that's what I read. I mean, uh, well done, you can read. On that note, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll leave that one. How, how do we feel about interviewing Russ? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's going to go very well. He, do, he doesn't look very happy. Uh, we're not going to... We're not going to... Russ? No, he's, he's, not, he's not interested in that. He's not interested in that. He's not interested in that. He's not interested in those games. Um, just me, apparently. So, uh, yeah. We've gone for half an hour now. Right, well, um, yeah. On that note, we'll, uh, we'll probably sign off. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to go and kill the rest of the other two hours we've got left. Um, thank you for uh, Motorsport Radio for letting me do this and kill some time. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, from uh, myself, Manuel, and um, the rest of the uh, British Formula 3 paddock, we out. Peace.